Hi, it's Chester Tuffwell from Blue Peacan Computer Training. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at custom calculations within the pivot table. Uh, this is my base data, uh, just a little table there that shows me uh, revenue for my organization, the date, the branch, the purchase was made in, the product group, and what type of purchase it was, whether it was store, web, international, or account holder. So to create my pivot table, as you know, you click somewhere in your data and we're then going to go up to insert, click on the pivot table button. We want to insert our pivot table in a new worksheet, so we just click on OK. What I want is a breakdown of revenue per year and per month. Now I'm going to place dates in my row labels, so my uh, dates appear down the side of my table. I need to group those dates by uh, year and by month. The easiest way to do that is go up to Options, Group Selection. It's already selected months, but I'm also going to select years. Click on OK. Uh, I want to add subtotals uh, for uh, each year. So I go to my Design tab, I go up to Subtotals, and then I'll show the subtotals at the bottom of each group. I want to change the layout as well. On the Design tab, I can go to Report Layout, and I might show the data in Tab Inform. So what I've got is each year and now each month. Now I haven't got a very useful um, heading on this column at the moment. Um, it'd be better if that said month. So what I'm going to do is right click on that um, column, uh, fill up the field settings and just change that to month. Okay, so I've got my row heading sorted out. What I want to do now though is add revenue to my values um, area. There we are, I've now got a subtotal for each month and a subtotal for each year. Grand totals at the bottom. If I want to format that data, just right click in the cell, go to value field settings and go to number format. I'm sure it maybe is currency. Okay. Now I'm actually going to add revenue to the values area again. And this time I want to do a different type of calculation. I want to know what perc what percentage this value is of my grand total. So to do that, I'm going to right click in the column, go to value field settings. And this time what I'm going to do is go to the show values as tab. And this gives me a little drop down list. And from that drop down list, I'm going to choose percentage of grand total. Now, pretty essential that you actually name these things. Otherwise, people have no idea what type of calculation they're doing. I click on OK. So I can now see that January 2010, that revenue figure is 2.97% of the grand total. I also get uh, the same calculation on the year subtotals. Now, I'm going to add revenue again. I'm going to do a slightly different calculation. Right click, value field settings, show values as. What I'm going to do here is use this option here, percentage of parent row total. Now this is new to Excel 2010. And what it's going to do is show me uh, what percentage of this figure is of the parent row 2010. Uh, but also it will show me what percentage the year is of the grand total. So it kills two birds with one stone. So I'll call it percentage of year. It does slightly more than that, but that will do for the moment. So I can now see that January's figure um, is 8.84% of 2010, and 2010 is 33.63% of the grand total. Let's add revenue again. Let's see what else we can do with it. So right click, uh, value field settings shows values as, so let's just have a look through this list. Uh, difference from. So what we might want to do is compare month on month uh, to see if there's been an increase or decrease in sales. So we can compare it with the previous month. Uh, difference from previous month. Uh -huh, so we can see should have done a little bit of formatting there, but let's do it, it's pretty easy. Uh, we can see what it's 
just done there. So you can see there's been a drop in sales there, and then an increase in sales there, etc. etc. Um, what we could do is show that as a percentage drop or increase. Uh, pretty easy to do that. Let's just go back to value field settings, show values as, difference from, percentage difference from. Go to the bank. Let's add revenue again. There's still more that we can do. Click and value field settings. So, um, running total in, this may be useful. Year to date calculation. Okay, got again <laughs> to format these. Not totally necessary, but it does look better. Um, so, what we're doing here is we're basically creating a year to date calculation. You can see it's kind of adding the figures as we go along. You can also show these as percentages. So percentage total in. So I can see for example that in 2010, September 2010, I'd sold 73.57 percent of the 2010 total. Right, there's still more believe it or not. Add revenue again. settings, show values as, scroll down. Um, so we're now onto these things like ranking, ranking smallest to largest. Let's see if that's useful. Rank. There we are. So all that's doing is basically saying that um, this value is the smallest value and this value is the largest value. Uh, it may be easier to pick out smallest and largest values using that option. Now that uh, by no means was all of them, or was most of them, it wasn't all of the custom calculations. Those are the ones that are most relevant to the scenario. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want to view more videos and tips and tricks, then please don't forget to visit our Excel Tips and Tricks website at exceltraining.co. That's exceltraining.co and our parent website, bluepecan.co. Co. UK. Okay, thank you very much.